Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Claire Carmichael and I'm a newly qualified general practice nurse. So today's vlog is all about vlogging, <laughs> vlogging and blogging and just some of the tips that I learned along the way and hopefully it's going to help you out if you're thinking about blogging, if you're thinking about vlogging but you maybe a bit too scared, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to start. Um, hopefully this video is going to help you. First tip, just go for it. Just literally don't even think about it. Don't think about any negativity. Don't think about who's going to watch it. Don't think about family and friends mocking you for it. Literally don't even tell anyone. Just record a video, do it, go for it, put it out there. Just take that leap. However, tip number two slightly contradicts tip number one, because what I'm going to say is think about your audience. So tip number two is think about what you want to say and also always question, OK, why am I saying this? What What is my purpose of doing this vlog? What target audience do I want to reach with this? What sort of following do I want to gain? What sort of community do I want to build up for my vlogging community? And that's just going to really help shape the content of your vlogs and what you do. So my content is all about nursing. It's all about student nurses, helping those people hopefully get through nursing and any tips and advice as well as showing my journey as well. So other people can see my journey and what it's like to become a newly qualified nurse and then future nurse and who knows what in the future. And yeah, so that was my aim. And I think that's really important is just to find your niche and what you want to vlog about and just always think about your target audience and what they want as well and also there's no harm in asking people so in your first vlog ask people okay what do you want to see more of and keep asking that question as you go what do you want me to do what do you want me to see more of because you're doing these videos for other people it's not just for you and um whatever you're going to gain from it if you're, you're one of those people that likes a lot of followers i'm not that person I'm, I'm not bothered about following or how many views i've got or how likes or dislikes or anything i do this to help people and if i help one person or two people that's that's my goal done. I've succeeded in that. So it's about finding out what's going to work for you, what your goals are and doing more of that as well. literally just sit by a window so where I am now I'm literally in front of my window and that's because that brings in the light you as long as you've got good light in, it doesn't matter what fancy cameras you've got I literally do mine on my iPhone I've got the iPhone XR other makes and models are available but any literally any camera phone that you have put it in front of the window sit in front of it and you will see that actually it's quite a good quality as long as you've got good light in, you will always get a good quality video My next tip is get an editing sort of software or app, whatever is going to suit your needs for your what you want. I'm just a basic person, like I'm not bothered about fancy things and put all these different things in. So I literally just use iMovie and that suits me. It does exactly what I need it to do. I can edit my videos, trim it down, do anything I want to do with it, add pictures and little words at the bottom. That's just basic stuff that I need. Um, however, there are other apps and other software things that you can buy to edit your videos if you want something a bit more fancy. But literally iPhone and iMovie, again, other uh, other phones and models are available, but they will all have their own video and editing app as well. So have a look into that and just work out what's good for you. It's about what you're comfortable with. Don't think about fancy and things like that because you can do YouTube vlogs on just a basic, simple editing app and, and a phone so don't worry about spending money or anything like that my next tip is keep your videos short sweet straight to the point which i really struggle with because i i never thought i would ever do this but i just sit there and i just talk and talk and talk and talk but the good thing about that is you can edit it down so when you're editing your vlogs back, you can always look at what you're saying and think, do I really need that in there? Take it out if you don't need it, just to shorten it all down. But really just short to the point, I try to keep mine under 20 minutes. 10 minutes is a good a good number to keep it to. And I do always kind of go over that. It is more near 20 minutes, some of the vlogs that I do. Sometimes there's just so much information that you have to go into. It does go over, but just keeping it short, sweet is going to entice people to watch your full vlog, I think, because I know when I've gone and looked at other people's vlogs and they're like an hour long, I'm just like, oh, have I really got an hour of my time to just sit and listen to this? It's really, really difficult. 
However, if you do do a longer vlog, it's okay. But a tip that I've learned is to put the timings underneath in the details. So what you're talking about when and what time. So people can then go back and forwards if they want to and pick up where they left off. It just really helps narrow the video down and for the, the viewers just to see what actually your content is all about. It's just, yeah, it just helps. So I always put my vlogs out every single Sunday morning at 6am. That is the time that they go out so that people know when to expect a vlog. Sometimes I will just schedule a surprise vlog midweek. If I've got time, I will do that. But I know that every Sunday a vlog is going out. It doesn't matter when it's scheduled or what it's scheduled or what it is or what the thing is i will just to keep that routine going i try my very very best there's only been maybe once maybe twice maximum that i haven't posted a vlog you know in one of the weeks and that's because i've just been so manic and so busy i just i haven't physically had a chance um so yeah so getting yourself a schedule is a really good way to do it as well so people know and they know to come back to your channel on that day to look at your next vlog my next tip is all about building yourself a community so i love the, my vlogs have created this community of nurses and student nurses. It's amazing. I love going on to other people's vlogs and people that are starting out on vlogging as well. I love to go and check out their videos and comment and like and support each other. You know, this isn't a competition. I'm not in vlogging to compete against other people. I don't care if someone's got a million views and I've only got one view. It doesn't matter. As long as that one view made a difference to somebody's life, I'm happy. But I love supporting other people. People. And I love that we're, we're such a nice community in nursing, in the vlogging world and the sort of blogging world. It's really, really nice. So my tip to you is go and find like minded people, like their videos, comment on their videos, subscribe to their channels and just get your name out there as well. And it's nice because then their viewers can see who you are as well and you can share these viewers and that's how you make these little communities because you'll be viewing each other's um channels in a way and then you've got these followings that follow each other and it's just really really nice i love it i, I just I, I read that's the one thing i really love about vlogging is the community spirit So my next one is all about being you. Just be yourself. Be the real version of you. Don't try and pretend to be anyone else unless that's your thing that you want to do. If you want to start impersonating people or doing comedy or something like that, that's a little bit different. But if you're just showing your journey and your nursing life and your personal life, whatever, just be you. Don't pretend to be somebody else. Just be your real, genu genuine self. And people will warm to that and people will just be able to relate to your life and what you're going through as well. Luckily, mine has always been positive, but I will also show me getting upset and crying and looking an absolute mess. Like I'm a days off, I've got my hair in a bun, I'm scruffy. Like this is real life. This isn't some fake movie or anything like that. This is real life. And it's really important to show that, especially in nursing when you're inspiring people to come into nursing. You have to show the real side to nursing as well. It can't be this fake life. It's not all positive and I will share the negatives as well as the positives. Luckily for me, it's nine times out of 10, it is positive. But yeah, just be you, be genuine, be real and just show that side of you so people can just really relate to you. Don't be afraid to do giveaways, to do charity stuff on YouTube. I love doing a giveaway. I think it's so exciting. I love it. And not only that, but don't be afraid to approach people to get things to do a giveaway. All these different places and companies, just ask the question. The worst they're going to say is, no, sorry, I can't do that. That's a little bit much. But at the end of the day, it's promotion from for them as well. You're promoting their their brand and their company. So it's, it's a win-win sort of situation. Your view are going to get something amazing from it but also so is the company because you're getting it out there so yeah so it's really really nice i love doing good giveaways it makes me feel so good when i'm giving a giveaway especially when it's the people that follow me people that are my regular viewers and people that comment regularly it's so nice when i pull out their name and i'm like yes it's so lovely so yeah do a giveaway do charity work do lovely lovely things on your channel 
So this tip is for creating thumbnails and titles for your YouTube channel. Um, so I use something called Canva. If you literally type in Canva, I think it's canva.com. I'll put it down here anyway in the links below. But go on to Canva. This is what I use for everything, like all of my, um, the, the starting image that you see on my vlogs. I use it for my thumbnails. If I'm creating something to post on Twitter or Instagram, I use Canva because it's just amazing and it's a free service as well. You can pay for like some upgrades and stuff, but you don't actually need to. I've always just used the basic thing and never paid. And I, it's okay for me. It's exactly what I need. So Canva is amazing for creating those things. And then with the titles of your videos, so say what it is, like don't beat around a bush, don't put words that you don't need in there. Try and keep it short, sweet and simple. So you know when people are Google searching you or Google searching something like nursing, you want nursing in the title of your video. If people are searching for things like assignments, you want assignments in your, the title of your video because that's gonna come up on Google searches when people are searching for that type of content. So make just have these short keywords, exactly what's in your video. And also things like Google Trends and Google Analytics is amazing. There's a, like a bit that you can use on the Google Trends that you put in keywords and it will show how many people have searched that keyword across Google over the month or the year, whatever you want. And it will also show different countries people are from that have searched that keyword. So you can see how many people are searching that keyword and which one's the most popular to use. So if I wanted to pick between nurses, nursing and nurse, I will put it into Google Trends and whichever one has the highest amount of views and searches, I will put that one in my title. However, I don't faff with that anymore. I used to do it a lot at the start, but now I'm not so bothered. I'm kind of used to just putting the keywords and stuff in there. So I don't use it as much now. But it's really good for if you're starting out to use that and just see what sort of things people search for really does help structure your title. And my next add on tip to that is once you've put your title in your description below, repeat the title. You want to have that title repeating. Apparently it, it helps with the Google search as well. I don't know how, but it does. And this is what I've always done. So I'll have my title and then I'll repeat the title in the description below and then a brief description of what the title is after that and then a whole load of other stuff. Ah, very cheeky tip, <laughs> which I'm ashamed to say. But um, something I found when I was searching is if you hashtag a person, so let's say I follow the Queen and the Queen is YouTubing. She's not going to, but I'm just using it as an example. Oh, she might do, I don't actually know. I should probably look into that actually. Does the Queen YouTube stuff? She might do. When you do your YouTube video, when you're creating it, there's a little boxes with the title, description, and then there's a bit for tags. So I would hashtag the Queen. So whatever her YouTube name is, Queen Elizabeth, let's just say, I will hashtag Queen Elizabeth in those tags so that when people go over to her channel and view her videos on the recommended for you bit, my video will come up on the recommended for you because I've hashtagged that person. And it's just a good way to sort of promote your video. I'm still not 100% certain if that is true or not, if that really, really does work. But it's just something that I do. I do hashtag a few people in my videos because I know their content is very similar to mine. I know that sort of people that come onto my page might see their videos as well. I, I think it works both ways because if you're hashtagging someone, I think their videos will automatically go recommended for you and it will pop up on your channel as well as their channel. So I think that's a really good way to promote other people as well as promoting yourself. But apparently it does work. I think this is my last tip. Just practice, literally practice, practice, practice. Sit in front of your camera, talk, do whatever you want. Just literally practice it because the more you do it, the more you put yourself out there, the better you will get at it. Like now I just talk and I just, I feel comfortable just talking to my camera. But if you go back and watch my very first ever vlog, I was so awkward. I was like this on a sofa, like a mess. It's, it's just really embarrassing actually looking back at that vlog, but it's a really important vlog. So I will never take it down. So I keep it there to remind me that I was really rubbish at the start, but now I'm getting a little bit better, I think, and a little bit more confidence in doing these vlogs. So yeah, practice definitely makes perfect. And don't think about who's watching it, just put it out there. And if you get any negative comments or any negative Nancys out there, any trolls out there, delete and block. 
don't even waste your time commenting and replying because that's what they want. So the, the thing for me, anyone that comments negatively or be horrible or anything like that, delete and block, done. Luckily I haven't had many negative comments, only one that I had to block, but the block feature is there and you can do it. And don't be scared to do it, just get rid. You don't need that negativity in your life, carry on. <laughs> you do you. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because I'm waffling. Um, so yeah, that is it from me, everybody. Uh, massive good luck to you all if you're going to pick up that camera. Get blogging, get vlogging. And if you need any more further advice or any tips or anything I haven't covered in this vlog, because I don't plan my vlogs. That's something I don't do. I don't have a script or anything. I literally just sit and talk and hope for the best. So if I've missed anything out, if there's things that I haven't covered that you want to know, please ask me, comment below and I will cover it. No problem at all. And yeah, so thank you so much again, as always, for tuning in. Thank you so much for following my journey and I hope you all have an amazing week. Music